how would we ask a question using the present perfect tense, particularly about experience and achievements? Well, all we have to do, like at many points in English, is take our subject and the first verb and switch them around. So instead of I have studied, it's have you studied at university? Instead of you have worked for five years, it becomes have you worked for five years? Have we won a competition? Have they been to the conference? Has he or she managed people? So just like we see in other verb tense forms, all we have to do is take our subject and our first verb and switch them around. We can also add the word ever in a question. We can only add ever in a question, not in our answers. Very important to ask if something has happened at any time. So if I asked question number three, for example, have we won the competition? Maybe I'm asking about now. Have we won? Have we won the competition? Have we won a competition? But if I add the word ever, this means at any time, any time. Have we ever won a competition? Let's try to answer some present perfect questions about experience and achievements that use the word ever. So we're going to look at three examples and see the different ways we could answer these kinds of questions. Number one, have you ever worked in an English speaking environment? Notice where the word ever is. It's between our subject, you, and our past participle worked. Have you ever worked? This is true in all present perfect questions. We put that word ever, which means at any time between our subject and past participle and only in questions. We cannot say I have ever, no, 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 no. We only use ever in questions. Number two. Have you ever won an award for your work? And number three, have you gotten a scholarship before? So in number three, we see this word before. This is, this also means at any time before now. It has the same meaning as ever. It's just a different way that we can ask the question. We could say, have you ever gotten a scholarship or have you gotten a scholarship before? So these are all questions about work experience and achievements. Let's take a look at how we would answer these questions. Let's take a look at number one. Have you ever worked in an English speaking environment? Well, we could simply answer with yes or no, right? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. And if we want to answer with never, right? Have you ever? I have never worked in an English speaking environment. So these are the three main ways we can answer a question like, have you ever? Yes, I have. And then you could explain your experience. Yes, I have. I worked in Samsung and we spoke English with our clients and so on. No, I haven't. Or no, I have never. Remember, ever means at any time. So never means at no time. At no time, I have never worked in an English speaking environment. Number two, have you ever won an award for your work? Let's look at how we answered number one. Can you try to answer number two in these three ways? We could say, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Or no, I have never. I have never won an award for my work. 
So again, these are the three simple ways we can answer this question. We can always add more detail after. Have you ever won an award for your work? Yes, I have. I won a teaching award in 2016, like this. Last, let's take a look at number three. Have you gotten a scholarship before? So even though we aren't using the word ever here, we are still asking about before, any time until or before now. So we would answer in the same way. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Or no, I have never gotten a scholarship. So notice also in our answers. So let's let's uh, take a look again uh, at wherever comes. It comes between the subject and the past participle. It's the same in our answer. Uh, the the word never become comes between subject and have and our past participle. I have never worked. This is very, very important for us to remember. So let's go ahead and look at what we should remember most from this slide. We always use the affirmative verb, I have never, when we're using the word never. So we would not say, I have not never, right? That's in English called a double negative, not never. Mm, that means I have. So make sure to use, I have never, if you're answering with never. So what are your experiences and achievements? And how could you talk about them using the present perfect tense? Okay, everyone, that's it for today's lesson. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe for more English learning videos from our team of real English teachers. See you next time.